hello guys welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create horizontal and vertical scroll in your designs so basically what we are going to be doing is we are going to be making this section here horizontally scrollable um where we can swipe through the list of items here and also the vertical um scroll for the entire page we are going to be making the entire page vertically scrollable the first thing i'm going to do is to check this clip content here so that we can see the content that overflows in that frame right and to make this particular section here scrollable the first thing i'm going to do is fit it in a frame so um to fit this section in a frame as you can see this is a group i'm just going to go to the section i'm going to left click and i'm going to click on frame selection right here so once this section is in a frame what i want to do is i want to reduce the size of this frame by holding control or command if you're using a mac and i'm going to hold down control or command and i'm going to drag on the size of this frame down to fit the size on where i want it to be visible so i'm just going to do that real quick um, i'm just going to properly fit the frame size and now we have the frame in this limited space and the contents of our frame which is this group is now obviously larger than the frame in which it's contained in and that is the concept of scrolling so now we can click on this frame and clip its content then switch to the prototype tab and this overflow scrolling section i want to set it to horizontal scrolling once you've done that you now have your horizontal scroll then i'm going to click on the entire frame and i'm going to click on the prototype to show what we just did so basically um now you can see that our section is horizontally scrollable but there's still a little adjustments to make as you can see when we scroll completely to the left we also need an extra margin um, after the list of items and we want to remove this spacing um, from this section right here so what i'm going to do to achieve that i'm going to click on this section back i'm going to um ungroup the contents in our frame then i'm going to hit shift a to make it um, an auto layout section now we have all our items in this auto layout frame i'm going to switch back to the prototype mode and i'm going to add a padding on the left and right parts of the auto layout frame so i'm just going to add a padding of 20 pixel now we have um, this space in front and we also have something at the space at the back a padding at the back then i'm going to fit this frame back to its position so that it sits perfectly now we do notice that there is an extra space on the right so i'm going to hold down control or command if you're using a mark then i'm going to drag to complete that section to fit the entire wall so now as you can see in our prototype section once we scroll we have our space on the right just like we wanted and the items are now scrolling perfectly the next thing we want to do here is to work on the vertical scroll which is the scrolling for the entire page i'm going to switch back to the design and to do that just like we've done with our horizontal scroll the concept of scrolling is that the objects in your frame must be larger than the frame itself so that you can scroll through it but as you can see now we don't have that so to do that i'm just going to select both of these elements here and i'm going to take them out of the frame i'm going to hold down alt and i'm going to create um, another duplicate of both of these i'm going to select every single element and hit shift a to create an auto layout just like the way we did for the horizontal scrolling section i'm then going to take this particular frame and fit it back in our design now we need our bottom navigation tab to be on top so i'm going to rearrange that layer and i'm going to move it to the top of the screen now we have our bottom navigation layer at the top i'm going to select the entire frame and clip its content so that i hide every other object that overflows on it now we have um the contents in our frame larger than the home screen frame itself so we can click on the home screen frame um, and switch to the prototype and change the overflow scrolling to vertical scrolling now once i play this prototype you can see that we scroll vertically successfully but then our bottom navigation bar um and our status bar is also scrolling 
and that is not what we want we want to fix them to a particular position while the entire screen is scrollable so i'm going to switch back to the design for that and i'm going to select this status bar here and i'm going to switch to the design panel um, and you can see this option here that says fix position when scrolling i'm going to check it and i'm going to do the same thing for the bottom navigation bar i'm going to fix position while scrolling so with this if we click on our home screen and click on the prototype we can now see that both the status bar and the bottom navigation bar um, are fixed to its position while scrolling but then i notice that objects are still um visible at the back of our status bar that means our status bar is transparent i'm going to switch to the design i'm going to click on the status bar and i'm going to fill it with a white background um and just like that guys we have a complete vertical and horizontal scroll for our mobile app um thank you for watching i hope this is helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get more videos like this